फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल दैट इज डिजाइन प्रोसेस सो फर्स्ट आई विल रीड द सिलेबस इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिजाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन डिजाइनिंग अ डिजाइन प्रोसेस डिटेलिंग कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट सेटिंग डिजाइन ऑब्जेक्टिव आइडेंटिफाइंग कंसाइन एस्टैब्लिशिंग फंक्शन जनरेटिंग डिजाइन ऑल्टरनेटिव एंड चूजिंग अ डिजाइन so these are the topics under first module so from this section two questions will be asked in part a with the three mark so each question will be having three marks or l two question so ningalku definition padichu kenya aaru mark kittum pakshe adhigam ningalku aaru mark kittullo definition manasilaakki kazhinjale ningalku ee module il ninga part b il chodikkina പതിനാല് മാർക്സും കിട്ടുള്ളൂ ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു ഗെറ്റ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ മാർക്സ് ഇൻ പാർട്ട് ബി ഷൂ ഷുഡ് ബി തറോ വിത്ത് ദ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ഓക്കെ ഹോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിയർ നൗ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സീ ദ സം തേം The first term is engineering. So what is engineering? So engineering is the application of economic, social and practical knowledge in order to invent, build, design and develop various devices, systems, machines and processes. Okay. So we have already seen that you will be studying various subjects. electrical machine digital electronics analog electronics etc so engineering mean you will be having some practical knowledge in a particular area in your case it is electrical engineering so combining that practical knowledge along with economic and social knowledge you are go- uh, you should be able to invent build design and develop various devices or system for machine for process so that is engineering a good engineer should be able to apply his knowledge to develop various kinds of system design so design means it is a plan or drawing produce to show the look and function or working of an object before it is made okay so suppose we need to build a house according to the customer requirement so as per the requirement we will be drawing a plan that is a design okay so before that object is being made we will be drawing for a plan or a drawing or a, some prototype etc that is known as design okay then comes engineering design now it is more specific it is not a simple design it is engineering design what is it it is the process of devising a system components or process to meet desired needs okay there will be some requirement we need to be uh, uh, we need some requirements like uh, suppose it is a mobile phone okay so my conditions are i require a very good camera okay then i need more battery storage okay i can't recharge the mobile frequently i need minimum uh, one day or two days storage capacity so there must come requirement so as per the requirement we are going to devise a mod a system okay when it is not engineer design in order to make it engineer design it should be what it is an iterative design making process in which 
The basic science, mathematics, and engineering are applied to optimally convert resources to meet a stated objective. Then only it will become an engineering design. Okay. So, to call something an engineering design, the engineer should apply basic science, mathematics, and engineering principles. in the model and why he is utilizing all this area to optimally convert the existing resources to meet a particular objective so to in order to meet the requirement he is making you like he is making use of the engineering knowledge along with mathematics and science so that an optimal solution is obtained what is this optimal optimal means the best one considering all the constraints and limitations etc nammada kaiyilulla parimithigal kulle etchavum nalla solution adanu or engineer kodukkendathu allengil verudhi or solution alla okay suppose um, one customer is asking the civil engineer that he need a home with two bedroom one dining area etc the customer requirement will be that much okay but the engineer should be able to consider the square feet then the area then the price within that limit he should be given the best plan okay then a civil engineer know all the aspects of the building so the customer may say that i need only one window here etc but he should make understand the customer that minimum uh, in the space minimum two windows are required for the close ventilation and all then only proper air circulation will be there similarly the kitchen should be placed in this particular area then only the sunlight will enter the kitchen and kill the bacteria so that much uh, knowledge will be should be there he should apply the engineering knowledge in the design to provide an optimal solution okay then now we are going to assess the levels in design what are the various level that is used in design there are three levels adaptive design development design and new design okay so what is this adaptive design so when a design is called an adaptive design so it is adapted to different scenarios that is adaptation of existing design then it is actually making small changes in the existing system it does not require much skill because it is just an a small adaptation of the existing system <coughs> we can take the case of mobile phone in every month the companies will produce some new model actually it is not having much variation from the existing model just a minor variation like uh, there is a small increase in memory capacity or small improvement in the camera etc but they will be named a new model after okay, that is adaptive design then comes development design okay development design means it is create a big change in the existing design it is no a small change and it may make the existing design a very new one okay so make so for this development design we need more designing capability and scientific skill new technological developments will be utilized to modify the existing system here also we are modifying the system but that modification will change the system entirely for example for transportation in earlier days we will we are we have used bullock cart but later it is replaced by bicycle then car bus etc so here there is a huge development in each case 
This is not at all similar to this. This is not at all similar to this. There is a very vast technological advancement here. Similarly, in the earlier days for storing the audio or video data, we have used video cassettes. Later, it is replaced by CD, then pen drive, then memory card, etc. So, here the system is becoming more and more compact. Isn't it? But the technology used in each case is very much different. It is not at all similar. So it creates big changes. For that we need more designability and scientific skill. Then comes the last one that is new design. It is here the concept and model. Both of them are new. It is completely new. It is not an adaptation of existing system. It is completely new in every aspect. Such a type of designs are rare. Okay, that will be usually performed by researchers, scientists, etc. Innovative, completely innovative idea, but it is the most difficult design level. So, for generating something very new involves Mastering all the previous skill. Okay. Then in addition to that you should have huge amount of creativity, imagination, insight and foresight. Then only you can create something new which is not at all similar to the existing system. Here we are creating something which is different from the existing system but so in the case of uh, tube-based TV and door, there is an uh, still it is make use of some existing technology, but in the case of new design, it is completely new. For example, the one the, the first camera. Okay, in the case of first camera, in the, there were no existing models available. It was created from the scratch. No existing models were available. Such type of innovative design comes under new design. Okay.